Welcome back. This is the second part of the pre-registration examination online workshop. In this section, we're going to take a look at how to prepare for the calculation questions. Let's take a look at the blueprint for the calculation questions. This is a recap of what we covered in the first section. Calculation questions will be found in domain 1, 2, 3 and 4. There will be one calculation question from domain 1 and one possible calculation question in domain 4. There are 10 calculation questions in domain 2 and 28 calculation questions in domain 3. Let's start to get ready for the calculations exam. We need to consider what types of questions and where we will find these. What resources or reference material can you bring with you? And what equipment are you going to need? We already mentioned that calculation questions will come from domain one to four and will be found within the following competencies. Health economics, patient medicine review and management, medicines and medical devices, therapeutic outcome monitoring, pharmacist initiated therapy, medicine production according to GXP, supply chain management, formulary development, medicine dispensing, medicine compounding, as well as financial management. Refer back to the first presentation and take note of the number of calculations you can expect within each of these competencies. We highly suggest that you use one of the recommended textbooks, Pharmaceutical Calculations, Calculations for Pharmaceutical Practice, as well as a chapter within Pharmaceutical Practice. Please note that textbooks are far more valuable before the exam than during the exam. They provide you with a number of examples that you can practice, practice, practice. Please remember to bring a calculator with you to the exam. You will not be allowed to use the calculator function on an iPad, tablet, laptop, cell phone, or smartwatch. We suggest that you use a scientific calculator. Always use the same calculator to practice with. Make sure you check the batteries. Familiarize yourself with the settings of your calculator. Remember that you will not be able to access any websites during the examination. When preparing for the calculation questions, try practice as many examples as you can find. Examples can be found in calculation textbooks. These are really useful for helping you to identify calculation questions, as well as providing numerous examples that you can practice with. Please take the time to visit the SAPC website and find the sample examination papers. We suggest that you complete this as a mock examination within two hours. Never assume that you got the question correct and take the time to compare your answers with your colleagues. We have the following tips for you while preparing for the examination. Take note of the units. For example, a percentage weight per volume can also be expressed as X number of grams per 100 mils. You may need to convert between units. For example, 10 ppm or parts per million can also be expressed as a percentage. Very importantly, take note of all the equations you have used. For example, C1V1 equals C2V2. We suggest that you create a number of sheets which you take into the exam with you. One for equations, one for conversions, and lastly, one for SI units. Have you thought about the day of the examination? Do you have a strategy? for approaching the calculation questions. Please keep the following in mind. When approaching calculation questions, make sure that whatever you write down is clear and legible. 
If you are transferring data to a sheet of paper or your calculator, always double check you have the values correct. With questions that you battle most with, make sure that you write down every step and don't take any shortcuts. Think to yourself, does this answer make sense? Is it what I was expecting? Always try to double check your calculation. What reference material are you going to take into the examination to help you tackle the calculation questions? Remember that taking a textbook into the examination may not be of any help as you have very little time. We suggest that you have the following on hand, a list of equations, conversion sheets, and a list of SI units. If you can't complete a question, we suggest that you carry on. If you have enough time at the end of the examination, go back and check it perhaps in one of the reference books that you have brought with you. Remember to maximize the time that you have. In the exam, you have 120 minutes to complete approximately 40 multiple choice questions. This is three minutes per question. Bear in mind, there is no negative marking. Therefore, do not leave anything blank. At least take a guess. Thank you for watching this part of the workshop. Do you have any questions regarding preparing for the calculation questions? Please send an email to interns at sapc.org.za with any questions you may have. Remember to watch the upcoming examples of calculation questions.